Chapter 2. The pups all begin barking at once. Ruff, 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 ruff. Three days. That's possum. Flash is always shown. Hey, isn't that amazing? Seems like we've been waiting forever, but the Jubilee is finally happening. The enchanted Jubilee took place every... Near at the top of the majestic mountain, where each cutie corn was ready, they were invited to the ceremony, which was always planned behind closed doors. Sparkle, glitter, flash, and twinkle already knew they were on the list for this year's Jubilee. And they had a, each passed the test earlier in the year. Sorry. Now they finally knew the day of the ceremony. Seeing about it sparkle that really she didn't know what happened during the Enchanted Jubilee. It was enough to bring up details on such a big secret. All she knew was that afterwards, she began training and learning to use her magic bow. Wow! Glitter ran around circles in, near the crab tree. Her pink horn sparkled every... Time it caught the snow sunlight. I can't believe it. Man, I just can't. Is this for real? I have to get home and tell my mom. Sparkle nodded. Yeah, it's almost dinner time anyway. Let's head home, pups. Barking and laughing, the four friends frolicked across the film. Everywhere they look, their horns. Powerful flowers peeked out of the grass. Mm. Mm. The sun hovered above the treetops, casting everything in a warm glow. Flash picked up a bright red poppy and tucked it behind Twinkle's ear. The beagle stuck her snout proudly. She had and be forgotten all about being angry. When they reached the far side of the fields, the pups continued along the dirt path that led back to town. Puppy Paw Island was full of beautiful beaches, mountains, fields, Forces. Most of the kitty corns lived in and around the Barking Bay, around the town's water edge. There was a big market, playground, beach, and splash pad, and even an outdoor movie theater. But the beauty of Barking Bay came from the kitty corns who lived there. Their powers made sure that every building was, building was powerful and brilliant. Glimmering fountains dotted the streets. The roads were lined up, up with archways of flowery trees. Breathtaking sights and smells were everywhere, and the air seemed to shimmer with magic. What more could a pup want? The friends reached Glitter's house first, a little cottage surrounded by flower beds. Glitter and her family were excellent gardeners because they loved to dig. The little white pup nuzzled each of her friends affectionately. Paws down. This is the most exciting news I ever heard. Ruff! She yipped. I don't know if I'm even going to sleep tonight or tomorrow night or the night after that. She shook her head and laughed. <laughs> See you tomorrow, pup. Donner's waved and continued among the past. Do you think everybody knows about the Jubilee yet? Twinkle asked, or is it a secret? Twinkle thought for a moment. We can't be sure yet until the official invitations go out, she said. She remembered last year when an older group of cutie corns got their invitation to the Jubilee. She'd been so jealous of her neighbor, Glow. Well, they better arrive soon, said Flash. You know, I'm terrible at keeping secrets. Sparkle giggled. <laughs> Flash had trouble keeping her barks to herself, that was for sure. 
But Sparkle couldn't imagine what life on Puppy Palm and what it'd be like about her feisty, funny friend. I, for one, are glad you're a blabber wolf, Twinkle said, winking. She then trotted up to her house, a sturdy wooden cabin with an elaborate obstacle curse in the backyard. The other pups loved playing at Twinkle's house. Oh, my neck, said she. Sparkle and Flash headed down the block to Flash's beautifully decorated blue house. Flash's mom and dad were very stylish, so their house was very stylish, too. It was surrounded by a huge yard, perfect for an energetic pup like Flash. Bye-bye, Sparkle, Flash Yip, doing a little backflip. I'll see you next time. We'll be one day close to her jubilee. Sparkle felt her belly flip-flop with excitement again. She then laid the paw on her ear and raced... The rest of the way home and joined them in her fur. Moments later, she burst through the, through the front of the family's brick door in the house. Hi, Mom! Guess... Ah! Before Sparkle could even... Man, finish her sentence. She was knocked off her paws, becoming fuzzy and yellow. It's here! It's here! The little fluff ball barked over and over. The little fluff ball was her younger brother, Stippy. He nudged her with his nose and then darted into the other room. <laughs> Excuse me. Before Sparkle could lift her paw, he reappeared, this time holding something in his mouth. What's that? Sparkle asked, laughing. What is it? <laughs> uh, Sippy mumbled with something sticking around his mouth. Sparkle grabbed it and gasped. It was something shimmering and purple. It was an envelope with her name on it in fancy gold letters. Could it be? It's imitation! Sippy <laughs> Spark. Sparkle couldn't help cheering. Sippy howled in excitement for his big sister. Oh, Now it was the enchanted, the invitation to the enchanted jubilee was finally here. Now it was truly official. 